Welcome back to another episode of the Blues Heart Biker. Now before we go too much further, I want to tell everybody that I do have stickers available. So uh, if you want a sticker trade, or if you want one, um, go ahead and send me a, a request in the comments, or go ahead and send me your stickers at my P.O. Box below. Um, I've already got things started with the sticker trade. I want to give a big shout out to Ruckus Rides. Ruckus Ride sent me this nice letter. Thanks a lot. Yeah, cool sticker. I'm going to find a cool place to put this. Thank you very much for the sticker trade. That could be you. Welcome back again to another episode of the Blues Heart Biker. All right. Well, today we got quite a quite a big agenda going bill over here my brother you remember my brother and we're taking the sportster down to dinah joe's harley shop here in fresno to uh figure out what's wrong with the clutch uh it's got a ghost in its clutch bill's had it apart a couple other guys have had it apart no one can figure out why it's doing what it's doing so we're just gonna let dinah joe handle it and then the carburetor started leaking yesterday so bad he just said forget it we'll just get let dinah joe do the whole thing so and then when we're done with this well got a little something interesting going on we'll have to take a look at that i'll, I'll i don't want to spoil the surprise but anyways Let's hit the road and take this Sportster down to Dinah Joe's. You guys might remember this Sportster from an, uh, another episode that Bill was on. And uh, two episodes. Two episodes you were on with this. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So this is your third episode. All right. Well, so here we go. Let's do it. All right. Well, here we are at Dinah Joe's. He's busy as usual, but... At some of the stuff he's got going on out here if you guys uh need to have your harley fixed or any v-twin fixed dinah joe will do it for you clovis california basically fresno All right, well, you guys remember John Schaefer over here, and me and Bill decided we'd come over here and say hi, and uh, I decided to... Uh, you come over just to say hi. You I decided to, to buy, this motorcycle. buy this motorcycle. So, I just Well, you came over to steal my motorcycle, which I've agreed to let be thieved. So, yeah. it's going into good hands, I'm happy. So, about. this is the uh, Triumph Bonville that uh, is mine now. Um, so, thank you. I guess. You, you hate to see it go, don't you? <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to its restoration there and taking go. a ride on it. There actually. we go. There we go. Well, all right. Well, here it is. This is, I, I kind of bought this Triumph. I don't know why I do stuff like this. Um, so it's some future episodes for the Blues Heart Biker, and uh, we better get this thing loaded up and get it back home to its yeah, new man. home. All right, well, here it is. I bought this Triumph off my friend, John Schaefer. And uh, it's gonna take a little work. It's a little bit of a project we got going here now, but I think we can make it happen. It's been sitting a while and it's gonna need a little bit of help. So, one thing I gotta do is uh, Clean the carburetors, uh, clean the gas tank out, put new spark plugs in it, change the oil, and then uh, take it out and clean up the chrome on it. And it's got pretty good, um, pretty good chrome on it, and, and it came with a whole bunch of extra parts. This was the original tank that came off of it. It's, I think it's fantastic. I'd like to put it back on, but the problem is there's a couple dents in it here. Um, so that's going to have to be dealt with. We got the original fenders here. You know, those look nice. White fenders that match the, the fuel tank. 
uh, extra valve cover there, a um, couple extra seats. One of those is a Corbin seat. That's pretty good seats right there. Um, I got three sets of handlebars. These are Harley parts here, but uh, three sets of handlebars, as you can see. Three sets of handlebars. Cafe stuff. And uh, some stuff in here. What is this? Oh, these are the original brake and shifter pegs. The pegs for the for the uh, put the the center controls back on. Here. Oh, yeah, this is the mirror. A mirror. I don't know what those are. Um, yeah, he also said he's got more stuff in his warehouse. Boxes, a few boxes full of things. That uh, some extra exhaust, some other exhaust pipes, and. Uh, some more odds and ends, another seat, and uh, he's gonna dig that stuff up for me too. So I got a whole bunch of toys here. A couple of pea shooters. I bought me a Triumph. It's not like I needed it, as you can see. I've got uh, other projects going on here. But I think this is gonna be a pretty nice bike. You know, I, I saw this bike sitting there, and it was just like, saw this bike sitting there and it was just like going to the dog pound seeing a little puppy and little eyes are saying take me home take me home I'm I'm very neglected and that's how I felt about this thing when I saw it and it's like for some reason I just felt like it needed me to rescue it so we'll find out if I can I'm sure it's just fine you know it's got these cool rear controls back here which really actually to be honest with you, aren't that cumbersome to uh, to operate. You got a little rear brake level lever back here, and uh, it appears that we do have the original. So if I want to go back to the to the uh, center foot controls. We can do that. We got some custom pipes. Got this thing stabilizer. That's going to have to come off. I I don't think I trust that thing because it might get caught in the motor here. Um, big headlight. Other than that, I think it's pretty cool. I think probably what I'm going to do is just get it running, ride it around like this for a while, and eventually I'd like to get that orange tank fixed. This is just beautiful right here. Get this fixed and uh, get the dents fixed on this somehow, and uh, try to keep the color the same, and uh, put it back on that bike and make it, you know, like its original glory but uh extra t front tire here fairly new tire i don't know i kind of like these handlebars these m-shaped handlebars on it now they're kind of old school looking but uh but we'll see see we've got to get it running first and see what happens this is my next project for a while so stick along with me and you guys get to see me get this thing going a little journey on getting this triumph running and getting it back out on the road so that it uh it doesn't go to waste anymore see they got these chrome nice chrome valve covers on it and get it cleaned up it'll look like a different bike day two okay well the triumph has been quite a journey here um, I went ahead, thought I'd do a simple oil change on it, and I have a tip for everybody. Do not take your motorcycle to the dealer to have an oil change. I'm sorry, I've heard this, and my friend who I bought this bike from used to take his in for service at the dealer every single time. First of all, I busted my knuckles trying to get the, the drain plug out. It was so tight, I thought I was going to break the crankcase trying to take it out. And then. 
I got to the oil filter. Oh, what a mess that was. The oil filter was stuck. And I, I spent about four hours trying to get the oil filter off. Uh, I was to the point where I was almost going to lay the bike down on its side and try to get in there with a pipe wrench or something. I used several different kinds of wrenches. So, what did I do? I came to the conclusion that I needed to figure out something, and here's what I did. And as you can see, the wrench is still on the oil filter. I haven't taken it off yet. But what I did was I got one of those simple wrenches that you use to install and take off um, oil filters. And I drilled holes in it and then put some self-tapping screws and one nail in, in it and gave it a big pull and pulled and pulled and pulled. And I pulled and I heard a creak, creak sound and it started to move. And when I pulled it off, the little rubber gasket was dry. Um, completely dry. They didn't put any oil on it and they probably put this thing on with some kind of air wrench or something, just tightened it as tight as they could get it. Um, I think a lot of dealers probably don't use their, you know, master mechanics to do the oil change. They might use the shop hand to do it and, you know, I've, I've heard this horror story a lot of times. Or they make it so hard that you don't want to change the oil and you want it to take it to them every time, but that's a risky thing. Uh, anyways, whatever the case is, I was able to get this thing off of here. Okay, we're going to try to start this thing now. I did try to start it, but the brand new battery that I bought was dead. So I put a trickle charger on it, let it sit overnight, and uh, the thing does turn over. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can get it to work without cleaning the carburetors out. I probably eventually am going to have to. But uh, let's see how it works. Let's see if we got some... some uh, sound out of this thing let's see if she'll fire up and i put new spark plugs in it and we'll see we'll gas put a little gas in the carburetor spray a little starting fluid and see if we can get it to fire up all right I think carburetors are. I think the carburetors are junk gummed up. It will run. I think it's going to happen. I'm, I'm going to have to pull the carburetors off and do a number on those. Uh, those are um, race carburetors. If you can see them there, they are uh, CR flats.
So this bike will probably move along pretty good once I get it running. We'll see for another episode. All right, then. That's it. We're uh, going to wrap this one up today. Um, be sure you subscribe. It's very important to me that you do that. And also give me that thumbs up. That means you like the videos. Hit the bell icon. That'll let you know every time I upload something new. And also leave your comments. I'd love to hear from you guys again. Um, getting some regulars commenting. I'm really an appreciative of everybody uh, responding and everybody participating and once again i want to give a big shout out to ruckus rides for the sticker trade thanks a lot and um, that's all for today i got some really cool stuff coming up uh, in the near future next couple of episodes you want to tune in plus i'll probably when i get this triumph running i'll probably have an episode or two about getting it going so this was just a prelude and uh stick around thanks a lot i appreciate all the new subscribers and i appreciate you the most thank you very much have a good one